Hello, welcome again, welcome again, welcome again. Uh, beautiful people of God, welcome again to another episode of Perfect Miracles, the Old Church of Christ. You know, at my church, you are bound to experience serious power from God. You know, the authority of God and when God himself uh, anoints and then uh, he comes in a spirit of war, in a soul, spirit and the body. We have got the soul, spirit and the body and when God possesses you know, and works, uses me as a tool of the heavens, as a tool of someone. That God anoints and say, I want to use Pemina as a tool to leave a legacy on earth. I say, God, I'm honored. I'm honored. Not only am I honored, but uh, I thank you for uh, uh, choosing me as a candidate that you, uh, you have blessed with such serious vocabulary power, not only is it vocabulary, but also with, uh, you know, the manners of just being a, a total man, a complete man, a, 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 a someone that's successful, someone that's uh, in the world of business, that's winning, in the world of business, that's achieving, in the world of business, that's building a lot of different uh, characteristics of uh, achievements you know it might be from goals achieving your goals it might be from achieving your dreams and so to speak etc there's so many so many things in, in in life that we as youth or we as young people or not only as young people but as a people as an individual there's so many things that you can achieve you can achieve and you can follow and you can actually pursue to become someone that's a, a very successful in such thing that you choose to pursue. So let's say, for example, you are a candidate, uh, somebody that chooses to pursue so etc. Something like uh, you or someone that wants to uh, pursue and wants to uh, do something uh, with something. That's like, uh, let's say, example, a nurse. A nurse goes and tries to help people to be healed. And we have got doctors that are working 24-7 to heal people's lives. And we thank them people on earth uh, that they are doing a, you know, a godless work to try and heal people that are not well. So we say, you know, we look forward for more people to venture and come along and say, we want to do such things as this we want to do such things as this but people can choose their careers as should choose their careers accordingly people should come to the table and say well i'm choosing this as a career i'm choosing this as a career i'm choosing this as a career and careers are not something to be placed around it to be messed around with to be played around with careers are something that you should do and you should carry on, carry on, and carry on doing it. Careers are things that you should do. And you know, uh, you can never run out of careers. I'm going to go and read the book of God. Uh, we're reading Ezekiel chapter 14. Chapter 11, verse 14. Again, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, the brethren, even the brethren, the men of thy king, and all the house of Israel, holy are they unto whom the inhabitants of Jerusalem eh, have said, eh, have said get your get you far from the lord unto us in this land given in this given in position possession therefore say thus say the lord god 
although I have cast them far off among the heathen, and although I have scattered them uh, among the countries, yet I will be to them as little sanctuary in the countries where they shall come. Therefore, save, that's save the Lord. Eh? You see, that's save the Lord. I will even gather you from the people and assemble you out of the countries where you have been scattered and I will give you the land of Israel. And they shall come thither and they shall take away all the distemple things therefore of and all the abominations therefore of the descent and I will give them one heart and I will put a new spirit within out of their flesh and I will give them a heart of flesh that they may walk in my status and keep my ordinances ordinances and do them and they shall be my people and I will be their God but as far for them whose heart walketh after the heart of their disturbed things and their abdominus I will recompense their way upon their own head say the Lord God then did the cherubims lift up the wings and the wheels beside them and the glory of the Lord of Israel was over them above and the glory of the Lord you understand he said the glory of the Lord you understand when you hear the glory of the Lord what do you think man what do you think? You think of the power. You think of the power of the Lord of the manifestation of God. What do you, you not think when you hear about the man of God? When you hear of the Lord. And the glory of the Lord went up from the midst of the city. The glory of the God went upon from the midst of the city and stood upon the mountains which is on the east of the city. Afterwards the spirits took them up and brought me in a brought me in a vision. The spirit of God from Chaldea to them of the captivity saw the vision that I had seen went up for me. Then I spake up unto them of the captivity, all the things that the Lord had shewed me. Ezekiel makes himself a type of scattering of Jews from Jerusalem. He then prophesies their scattering amongst all nations. The word of the Lord also came unto me, saying, Son of man, thou dwellest in the midst of rebellious houses which have eyes to see and see not there have ears to hear and hear not for they their rebellious house therefore thy son of men prepare their stuff for removing and remove they in the that sight and then thou shalt remove from thy place to another place in their sight it may be thy who consider thou there will be a rebellious house. They shall still bring forth thy stuff and it in the sight of a stuff that remove. Thou shalt go forth at even in their sight as they go forth unto captivity. Dig thou throw through the wall in their sight and carry out in their sight. Thou shalt bear it upon their shoulders and carry it forth in the twilight. Thou shalt cover their face. That shall see not the ground, for I have said thee for a sign unto the house of Israel, and I did so as I was commanded. I brought forth my staff by day and staff by captivity, and in the evening I dig through the wall with my hand, with my hand. I brought it forth in the twilight, and I bear it upon my shoulder in the sight. And in the morning came the word of God unto me, saying, Son of man, hath not the house of Israel, the rebellious house, said unto them, 
What does that say that unto them that say the Lord God this them consent the presence of Jerusalem and all the house of Israel that are among them? Say I'm your sign, like like as I have done so that it be done unto them, they shall remove and go unto the captivity. And the prince that is among them shall be upon his shoulder in the twilight. Then shall go forth, shall take through the wall and carry there. He shall cover his face that he sees not the gun with his eyes. My net also I will spread upon him, and I shall be taken in my snare, and I will bring him to Babylon, to the land of the children that shall not even see through he shall die there. And I will scatter toward every wind all that are about him to help him, and all his bands, and I will be with the draw out of out the sword after them, and they know that I am the Lord when I shall scatter them among the nations and disappear them in countries. But I will leave a few men of them of them of the sword from the family and from the persons that they may declare all the abominations above the hidden river they come and they shall know that I am the Lord. Uh, moreover, the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Son of man, eat thy bread. Eat thy bread with squatting and drink thy water with tumbling, with carefulness. And say unto the people of the land that they say the Lord God of the inhabitants of Jerusalem and of the land of Jerusalem, they shall eat their bread with carefulness and drink their water with astonishment. That's Land may astonish with all that they because of their violence, and all of them dwell there in the cities that inhibit them shall be laid waste, the land shall be desolate, and they shall know that I am the Lord. And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, what is it that proved that you? Uh, that it was there with us. Tell them therefore that in sake, Lord is God, I will make the problem cease, and they shall no more visit in the problem in Israel. But say unto them, the days are at hand, and if it will be every vision for them, there shall no more any vision of flatter definition within the highest house of Israel. For I am the Lord, I will speak. And the Lord that I shall speak come to pass, it shall be no more prolonged. For in your days, all oh, rebellious hosts, who I say the words and who perform it, say the Lord God. And the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Son of man. Behold, they of house of Israel say, eh? say, son of man, behold that of Israel, the vision he see is for the many days to come and the presences of the times that are far away. Uh, I think we will end it there for tonight, man of God. I think I will repeat this, the vision that he said is for the many days to come and for the prophecies of times that are far away. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone. Perfect miracles, the real Church of Christ.